You know, getting ready before every video is a bit of a pain in the ass, so I hope this is worth it. Anyways, hope you guys are all doing well today, and this video is about the audibility of inverted polarity. Some people view Oratory 1990 as some sort of objectivist god, but I'm going to prove to you in this video that he is wrong about the audibility of inverted polarity. He says, you can definitely tell when one channel is out of phase with the other, but you cannot hear absolute phase, whether both channels are phase inverted or not. There have been many, many psychoacoustic experiments on the matter, and the conclusion was always more or less the same. Humans don't hear phase. And there actually was a study proving that inverting the polarity of both loudspeaker channels had an audible effect. But maybe Oratory didn't know about this. And in that same thread, there was some guy who did the test Oratory said was impossible and got a 22 out of 23, which is a confidence rating of 99.99%, meaning it is virtually impossible that this was by chance. This guy could clearly hear a polarity inversion. And why this is important is because a lot of the chi fi earphones I have tested have shipped with cables that have inverted polarity, or the earphones themselves on the receiving end are wired incorrectly. Take for example the Tin Hi Fi T4 Plus. We invert the polarity and it's correct. Oh, okay, I'll also show you the minimum phase and what this actually means. So we have the excess phase in white, which shows where the earphone is not behaving under minimum phase conditions. So if we invert polarity, we can see that at many points there is high excess phase. You can see on the bottom minus 179 degrees across the board and when we invert polarity it goes back to normal. And a simple fix for this is flipping the earphone cable the other way around but obviously it's going to look really dumb if you're wearing an ear hook the opposite way and it's just hanging off like the front of your ear. Okay so that's not really a viable solution. And also take for example the KZPR1, we have the same issue, um, invert polarity, it goes back to normal, but yeah, generate minimum phase, generate and close, okay, we have a lot of excess phase where it shouldn't be, then you invert polarity and it's back to normal, okay, but Moondrop Variations has the correct polarity out of the box. You know, such a simple problem really shouldn't be a thing, but maybe these companies really don't care enough. And you might say, oh, sure, you know, you're collabing with Tin Hi Fi, but you know, I'm the realest audio reviewer aside from the homie Real Audio Reviews, so I've got to bring the truth to you no matter what. So to test this, I inverted the polarity of a song, Signs of Love, which I find is really revealing, and inverted the polarity of one file, so when I play both of them at once, they cancel out, but if I mute one, you can hear one of them clearly. It doesn't matter which one I mute, because that's how inverted polarity works, and to test whether this is audible or not, I am going to use an ABX tool and load up both of the files. So let's get that set up. All right, so this is my first run with, let's say, 10 trials, okay? Okay. Okay, so that was just eight and all of them 100%, but okay, hide results, keep going.
Okay, so I clearly demonstrated that inverted polarity is audible right here. What inverted polarity means is that when the driver is meant to play in a certain direction, it plays the opposite direction. And what I perceive this as is blunted transients or a blunted transient attack. With the correct polarity, it sounds sharp and incisive, but inverted polarity, it just sounds like it's hard to describe. It's pillowy, whatever. I'll drop both of these files in the video description so you can try this test yourself, but inverted polarity is clearly audible. Oratory 1990 is wrong. The chi fi companies who are shipping earphones with inverted polarity need to get this fixed ASAP. Well, here's a video outlining my scientific process. I'm not going to write a paper and submit it to a relevant journal for peer reviewing like Oratory 1990 says I should, but you guys can try this test for yourself. Oratory 1990, you're welcome to try this test for yourself as well. Be sure to like and subscribe. I'm out. See you guys next time. I'd like to give a shout out to Munolos, Ninjakuma3, Hunter, Vsauce4, Linuxternal, Waitacre, Sinivri, Tripped, and Fofo. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, I really appreciate it. If anyone else wants to support, please be sure to join the Patreon or the YouTube membership, link down below.